Okay, this video is to demonstrate how to make supply and demand lines, how to graph them using Excel. And I'm starting off with showing you the finished product. When it's finished, it should look like this, and you're going to have three pages. This one is for pens. The second page is for new eco cars. You notice the numbers are different. Next one is generators. The numbers change, and so the graphs change a little bit. All right, so first thing I did was I'm going to open up a new Excel, and you're going to want to pause the video and type this data in. But before you do so, let me show you something. Do not uh, type in commas. If you take a look at this other one, you're going to see there's commas here and there's dollar sign. So it's currency formatted and comma separated, uh, comma formatted. Do not type in the dollar signs and do not type in the commas. And I'll show you. Uh, instead, just type in the numbers so they look like mine. Then you can highlight that area and you can just use currency format. So do not type, type the dollar signs. Now I'm going to highlight this area and I'm going to turn on the comma separator. But I don't want the decimal places. So we've got this increase and decrease decimal places. So I'm going to decrease it down so that there's zero decimal. And now it's formatted properly. What about up here? I'm going to highlight all three. Notice I'm not using the edge, I'm not using the fill handle, and I'm not clicking on the edge with the four-headed handle. I'm using the big plus sign when I click to select multiple cells. And now I'm going to use the Merge and Center button. All right, one more thing um, before you stop and get started. Make sure that you use the desktop version. So you're going to type in Excel on your computer, whether it's your laptop or the school computer. E, oops, EXC. And there it is. So you're going to open up this one. Do not go to uh, Office 365 and use the online version. Uh, if you use the online version, then some of the features of the graphing will not work properly. So make sure you're using the um, uh, this this version, the desktop version. Okay. Now let's go ahead. So go ahead and pause. Get this stuff typed in. Get it formatted, and now I'm going to go ahead and make the graph. I'm going to highlight the area that I want graphed. Go to my insert menu. I'm going to select a scatter plot. And I'll choose one that has lines. Scatter plot with smooth lines and markers. What do they mean by the markers? The dots are wherever the information that's provided is at. So what's going on here? We've got, okay, the demand line is the blue line, this one. So at one dollar at the price of one dollar as opposed to four dollars so on the lower price more people are willing to buy the product there's a higher demand that makes sense so at uh let's see here oh i forgot something take a look at this the price isn't on this menu or excuse me on this axis we need to swap these axes we want price whenever we're doing supply demand uh graphing we always want to have Price here, vertical axis, and on the horizontal axis, the x-axis, we want quantity, and that's what these are. So let's swap that out. Let's go ahead and click on the graph. We're going to do a right mouse click anywhere in that white area. If you don't get this menu with the select data, then just keep trying, like click somewhere else. Maybe you accidentally click this one. Just move around and keep right mouse clicking until you get this option, select data. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the old ones and add new two new ones. So the first one will be demand. I'll click on demand for the name and then for this the values I'm going to go ahead and click on again I'm using the big plus right in the middle click and hold and I'm dragging to highlight so it's highlighting that section and then for the y-axis which is the vertical axis that's right here I want the price. Alright so that looks looks pretty good and then I'll hit OK and now just move this out of the way to check it out looks good and I'm going to add the supply. Supply is the name. Now it puts it should put supply down here once I get going. Mark the quantity on the x-axis. That's down here. I'm going to get rid of that one in there. And we want the price on the y-axis. All right, that's looking good. Hit OK. OK. All right, that looks good. However, it did not give us a chart title. Hmm. I wonder why that's not. Typically by default it puts a chart title in there. So what I'm going to do is move this down just a little bit. 
click on the inside graph, and I'm going to shrink this down so I've got a little space right here. I'm going to use the plus handle, and it tells me what options I can enable or disable. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my chart title. Now I'm going to click over here for market for pens, copy that, control C, and add that, control V. All right, that's a completed graph. However, there's one more thing we need to add, and that's the market clearing price. So one of the reasons in economics that we have you make graphs, that we make graphs, is to determine what the market clearing price is. And in this case, the market clearing price, and in every case, it's where the demand and the supply cross, where they intersect. We also call it the equilibrium price. So in this case, what's the price? It is, let's see, between 250 and 3, it'd be 275. That's the middle. But this, it's a little bit higher than that, almost halfway between. So I'm just going to say 285. Don't worry, I'm not going to mark yours wrong, as long as you're in the, the range, as long as you're close. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on. So if yours was 290 or $2.80, I would still give you credit because you're shown, telling me that you know that the market clearing price is in this general area. All right. Now we're finished with this one. Now we've got to give it a name. Double click on here so we can name it. I'm just going to call this one pens. And to make the next one go faster, notice I'm going to click right here. Double click on this one. We're going to call this one Eco Cars. And to make it go faster, oops, I should have highlighted first. I'm just going to click here, highlight down, copy, control. V to paste, and notice now, let's say yours, your columns are too narrow, and you get these pound signs. Just double click, get a double hit arrow, oh, but then that, it makes it as wide as that, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring it back, right about there. So, now all you have to do is change this to eco cars. And now what I want you guys to do is change out these numbers so that they match the Word file that I provided for you, which has all of the, uh, the numbers that we're using today. So you're going to use these numbers right here. And even if you don't open the file, you can just pause the video and use this. And then he'll pause the video and use this for later. Okay, and then I don't want... I'm not going to show you how to do the next two. What I want you guys to do is... I want you all to put in the numbers and then go through the steps. If you need to rewind the video and watch what I did to make the graph, I want you all to make the graph for this, the eco cars and for generators. And your graph should look something like this, your finished product, and like this. All right, and then you'll be finished. And make sure you put in the market clearing price for both of these. And that's it.